Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we get to do some more Football Manager. Um, I lied last time I, I uh, did this video. Um, our next match is not going to be the um, uh, the the our, our domestic uh, league. Yeah. Domestic League match. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't even know what the words are at this point. It's so late. Ah. But anyhow, um, our next match, this match we're coming up against is Ikasat, and it's versus er, versus the. It is a another Finnish Cup match. Um, I assume. I don't really know how the Finnish Cup works out or anything like that. I mean, I think we're in the fifth round or whatever. Um, we didn't play in the previous third, second, or first round, but we did play in the third, whatever. Anyway, point is we are here. Um, one of our friendlies did get canceled, so we can play this match. Which means... I played only one friendly prior to this match. It was all in all disappointing. But we are here and we are going to play another match. And it is, of course, going to be a, um, oh, what the hell? Who needs a squad number? Oh, all right, whatever. Um, usually, actually, uh, I, I should tell you this. I am kind of specific as to who gets squad numbers. That will most likely be something that you do see, in fact. You know what? This is interesting. They're playing a formation that I tried to use once, and it didn't work out so well. This little, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how they how they do against us here. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, usually uh, squad numbers I'm very particular about, but once again being the uh the first generation of players i guess i mean not even that god we're not even a season end of the game and we were two games or two matches into the season and you know here i am talking about first generation shit but anyway um first set of players usually i get kind of particular about um these are never not really any players that uh you know have any i don't know what to say uh, like any any emotional uh you know and i have any any emotional ties to um in truth uh you know a lot of players i kind of you know get my hands on or players that end up sticking with me for quite a while um but we haven't quite reached that yet you know, like I said, I'm trying something new and, and getting my hands on a bunch of old players because usually, ooh, that was wonderful. That was a wonderful, that was nice. That was a very good sequence of passes. I mean, that's the goal I could care less about. But the passes that led up to that nice one-touch, two-touch passes that, you know, control and move on. But anyway, um... As I was saying, I mean, it's kind of one of those, one of those things where we we've got our current crop of players, and like I said, I'm trying something different. So a lot of these players that you see now, don't get too attached to because probably in two or three seasons they won't be here anymore. And I don't mean that in the bad way. That's also one of the reasons why I moved, why I went for a lot of older players, because so I wouldn't feel as bad. Because sometimes when you get rid of players when they're young and stuff, I I personally feel like I give up on them, and I don't like that feeling. I don't, I don't, I just don't like that. I don't like that giving up feeling at all. Ooh, free kick on a, free kick? Free kick on a decent area. Sorry, I don't even know what the hell, what the fuck are you doing? What is, what is going on? Seriously, somebody just hit the ball, for the love of Christ. See that, that initial free kick right there, that's one of those things where you just gotta one time it and just hit it. Don't take a touch and hold on to it and try and control it. You just gotta fucking put a boot to it and see what happens. Let it ricochet. Like that! That's what you need to do to it. I mean, you gotta press the goalkeeper. Make him do something important. You know, make him make a save. I mean, you know, no shot on goal is a bad shot. 
honestly. Um, I guess I'll fucking make that change. I don't freaking care at this point. We're up a goal and I'm happy and all that good stuff. Um, I feel like there's something important I needed to say, but I don't. I don't really. I don't remember what it is. But anyhow, um, and that's one of the things like those. The um the wing back and and um oh the wing back and our our, our uh, attacking midfielders or I guess you know really attacking wingers really is what they are um they really operate in tandem out here a lot of overlap and shit like that in this channel and that's really the product of it you saw him kind of overlap inside and creep into the corner of the box and and shoot and. And not really for the second time. Honestly, I mean, both goals came from the same area. So, I mean, it's not every day that you have your left back score a pair of goals. But, you know, not, not too upset about it. Um, our first match, or our first match, the friendly before this was largely disappointing. We did lose 5-4. Um, Fucking Christ, clear that shit. What is that? No, oh my God, he's got to be offside. Thank you. Holy shit, that was, that, ladies and gentlemen, was terrible defending. That was absolutely piss poor defending. That was bad. That was bad. That was just, damn. You gotta deal with it. I don't like that indecision. Ooh, that's, that's, that's tantalizing. I know I used that in the last... Last episode too. That was that was pretty tasty. That was pretty tasty. Um, and now you're starting to see, like I said, you know how how this formation works. Um, the last episode, uh, or the last episode, the last match. Sorry, the friendly match. Like I said, we lost five to four, but a lot of that is due to the fact that uh, you know at the very beginning of every episode, I go in and. Ooh, tell the players to mark specific players. And I did not do that, number one. And I did play that 4 3 2 1 formation, the Christmas tree formation. It didn't work out very well defensively. Also, it doesn't help the fact that we don't have a whole lot of depth. Um, we're not exactly two or three deep in this formation. So, um, injuries, if they do happen, are going to hurt. Luckily, we only play, what is it, 30 matches? I think that's what it is. Ooh, is he onside? He was, holy shit. Should have put that away. But I think, uh, I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's 30 matches that we play. We don't play 33. 33 is Icelandic, I think. But anyway, we only play 30 matches, so, um, you know, we only play... Well, should I play every team twice at minimum? Don't get very many of those, or at least I don't. At least I feel like I don't. Nice. Let me finish it. He's got the hat trick. Nice. Nice indeed. Anyway, um. Fuck, what was I talking about? Uh. God damn, I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, oh, while I don't advocate... Alright, I remember now. Huh. While I don't advocate... I said that like four times. But anyhow... Um, while I don't suggest dropping domestic cup games... Uh, it is it is one of those things where a much lighter... Uh, um, I don't want to do this. Where a much lighter uh, fixture load will really, really help you in the long run. Um, especially, like, you saw that with... Oh, okay, fuck you guys. No, oh, I guess I did pick the wrong one, shit. I wasn't I wasn't paying attention to what I was reading. You know, while, while a lighter fixture load really helps you out in the long run, I think. And that's really what we're going to be aiming for uh, in this first season. What we're really gunning for is promotion. So these... However far we get in the, in this competition is as far as we get. I'm not going to really get upset about it or cry over spilt milk, honestly. It's just one of those things where we get as far as we get. If we get really far, that's great. If not, no biggie. Um, 
I'm, I'm really more concentrating on the, the League Cup because promotion's a big deal. You know, we want to be in that Premier Division and have a chance at, um, at, at winning it, number one, having a, a chance at the extra money. I know it sounds bad, but Jesus, I knew that was going to fucking happen. Up three goals, and we let a soft one in. But anyway, um... Well, that's probably all in part of my, uh... All in part of my, uh... Fucking... Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. Figure out how to pass... Oh, my God. Jesus, I hate shit like that. Like, oh, my God. Where are you going? I don't know. Where are you going? But anyhow, um... Our main focus is going to be in the league and winning it and securing promotion so that we have at least a shot at, you know, Premier uh, Premier League. Uh, uh, shit, Champions League football and the money. I know that sounds very, very bad, and it sounds... I don't know what you want to call it. Oh, my God. Shot that shit way too early. You need to take a touch and drive that towards the goal, but... You know, look. That's what we're uh, what we're really hoping for. That's really the way to build a club is you know when you start from the bottom, you just want to get into the top division and then just get into the Champions League regularly, you know, and just get the money because with that money, then you can build you know all the things that you should be building. You know, a youth system. You know, you have finances and then go after players that require a little bit of cash. And in this game, they. Um, and well and ooh that's a gorgeous pass ooh that's that's what this offense is built around passes like that that was nice very much appreciated but um as i was saying that's um uh, you know the the premier league money the cash cow that it is is really what you want to go after you want to be in that you want to make money you want to be able to you know go after some players and in this game and in this this uh iteration of it in particular 2014 the fm14 game uh eastern Bloc, european countries you know croatia serbia shit like that those sorts of countries oh my god another crappy easy easily prevented goal my easily prevented goal there but those sorts of countries, the Eastern Bloc countries, are a good place to really search for players. They come at a very cheap... They... Ah, fuck. Really? Come on. This is going to be one of those matches where you just leak goals for no fucking real reason. But... Anyway, as I was saying, the, um... Eastern Bloc. I, I don't even know if that's like that could be a derogatory term, but I don't even I don't even know if it is. I hope not. If so, I have I apologize because it's just you know it's just the only way I know how to describe those sorts of not really sorts of countries, but those countries in that area. The uh, you know Ukrainian, you know Bulgarian countries like that. Uh, you know Serbia, like I said, and, and you know Czech Republic, so on and so forth. Those countries are um good countries to pull players out of in uh fm12 it was africa and uh, south america specifically africa you could pull players out of for really really cheap transfer fees but in this iteration it happens to be the um the uh the eastern Bloc. like i said i quote end quote countries i don't like i said it's 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 just the way they kind of put it together um they are uh that that they they did do uh fuck what is it called the reason for that uh, i guess uh let me start over the reason for those certain countries which i have aforementioned named does that even make fucking sense i don't even think so but anyway <laughs> those countries the reason why those countries come at our cheaper cut rate price is because that's kind of the way they did it like they they model the game on some sort of weird financial system it is not necessarily based on how good your team is um in relation to how much a player is worth it's more where you're at so basically even though you can be let's just say 
for instance, in Ireland, and when the, uh, the, uh, what the hell is it called? Champions League. Fuck, I don't even remember the names of anything right now. And if you win the Champions League frequently enough or you're in it or you have really, really good players, that is irrelevant. It really depends on where you're at and how good that league is. For example, I mean, you can have players with, um, you know, great potential ratings and, and all sorts of good shit and really good players, but they're worth absolutely peanuts compared to someone who's less of a player than they are but in a more well-known region like let's just say Germany or England or something like that it's kind of fucking weird the way they do the financial system in this game so in other words you can pull really great players out of certain areas for dirt cheap prices and yet buy mediocre players in certain areas for exuberant prices just based on the region that they're in it's pretty lame that's a interesting pass but anyway, I mean, that's enough about the financial system. Oh my god, please score. Oh. That's, that's disappointing. Honestly, the two goals are disappointing. I'm not really happy about that at all right now. Um, so far, uh, having played this game, well, for two matches, we seem to have pretty good first halves, and the second 45 seem to be pretty pedestrian in my opinion I mean that I don't like I don't like giving up goals um in truth that I'm perfectly happy with a one goal to nothing two goal nothing margin you know I I, I just don't like conceding goals I mean I'm, I'm a I'm a competitive person in a sense and we're just all over the fucking place right now defensively holy Christ And um and like I was saying, I, I don't I don't like conceding goals because I'm a competitive person and honestly conceding a goal even though it's like five one is you know, it's like I suffered one defeat and I don't like that. Really cats? Seriously, do you have to all make noise the second I record? You know, on on a lighter note, our passing has been pretty good. I mean, I can't really, can't really complain about that. And that was a terrible cross, but, or corner, rather. That's something, too, they changed. Ooh. Oof. That was, that was, that was nice. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm okay with that. So, um, through the first two matches... I mean, I know this match isn't over with yet, but I mean, we haven't we haven't quite uh, quite shown the defensive solidarity that I want. Um, like I said, I'm I'm more interested in 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 clean sheets. Um, I'd rather have the four one score line from the last game than a five two. I mean, I I guess that's that's the best way to explain it. Um. I mean, I just, that's just the way it is. That's just the way I feel about it. I, I just don't like conceding goals. You know, um, obviously those are things that are going to, are, are going to change going forward. But, um, did I put, I don't think, nope, I didn't. I didn't think I put Hagblum out there. But here we go. All right. Give him some, some time at least. I mean, it's, in, in truth though, I mean, it's, I don't. My clubs never really get off to the best of starts. Um, they're usually kind of. They usually start, you know, start clicking, you know, about ten matches into the season. So I mean, like I said, I mean, I can't really complain. We're scoring goals, yes, but I mean, it's not as pretty. There's a lot of things that I would like to clean up. Um. But I mean, like I said, you, you kind of see at least so far what what our formation what our 433 can really bring um especially in terms of this of this diamond right here or triangle 
not really diamond, sorry. That triangle with, with Hagblum dropping back, or Osei, or whoever it is. Or not Osei, um... Owusu, there we go. Shit, couldn't remember his name there for a second. But, especially with Nermela uh, dropping back, you see kind of how you get this kind of staggered... They're not exactly parallel, but, you know, uh, Nermela is not too far ahead of him. Um, that's really, that's really what this, uh, well, well, let, let me rephrase that. That's where, really where I think the strength in this formation is, is, is back there. Um, I mean, especially with him dropping back, with, with our defensive midfielder dropping back as a halfback, as a third as an extra defensive, ooh, as an ex extra central defender, like he just was right there. He just dropped that. That was our defensive midfielder, that field of that ball, by the way. I mean, he just kind of drops back as an extra body to help clean up that shit. And that's, that's a formation, actually, if you would have watched the World Cup, you would have seen a lot of. And um, uh, the Dutch actually played sort of a variant of it, but they were like more of a 3-5-3, three, three, right? Is that what it was? I can't remember, but you saw Argentina use it a lot with Javier Mascherano. Oh, clear that, for the love of God. But like I said, you saw Argentina use that a lot, and that's not really something I adopted, but something that works really, really well in this game. But uh, I guess that's all right. Not super happy with it, but yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, we got... We we got the win, five two. It doesn't really matter how how you win in the the domestic cup games, but it matters that you win. But anyhow, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional. <laughs>